tool has been synonymous with premium quality components with not so premium cost. And we can say the same for their newest products, their first foray into the mechanical keyboard market, the KB500 and KG722 keyboard. In this video, we're going to find out just how deeply cool these mechanical keyboards really are. What's up, Internet? Mahira parin mahuha ng PC parts ngayon, but that doesn't mean you can't get this shirt to remind you of what you still need. Jokes aside, na totoo naman, we made our very first merch to not only reflect our passion for PC building, but to help you teach your friends what you know through the Hardware Sugar PC Anatomy shirt. To order, go to our site or click on the link in the video description. Hover over products and select t-shirts. We have three designs and they come in sizes ranging from small to XL. Press add to cart, select your delivery option and your payment terms. We deliver anywhere in the Philippines, but you can save on the delivery fee by paying and picking it up in our store in Makati. And if you wear it long enough, baka maswertehan ka, and you'll finally get the go signal from your significant other or your parents to finally get that AIO or RTX 3080 that you've been dying for. So even though we've covered quite a number of MKBs already, we're still not claiming to be MKB content YouTubers and we have no plans to be at all. Hardware Sugar is and will always be a Pinoy noob-friendly tech channel and it's with that mindset that we are reviewing these products. Standard disclaimer, the keyboards were sent to us by Deepcool but they have no say in our review whatsoever. For the review, I used this for more or less one month. I coded with it, wrote scripts, and played games. Starting with the KB500, quite honestly, this might be the best basic MKB I've tried at this price point and I've tried quite a lot. For specs, it's a TKL keyboard with Otemu red switches, aluminum plate and ABS plastic case, and ABS keycaps. The first thing that grabbed my attention was the RGB. Man, for some reason, the RGB in this keyboard seems to be extra bright and clear. The colors really pop and they're such a treat especially for RGB lovers. They're easily customizable with or without software and they look premium. The quality is also something else. The aluminum plate really does wonders to this keyboard especially in the overall feel and weight of it. While it's not as heavy as its counterparts, it still feels solid and again premium. Little to no deck flex and the stands are sturdy enough that you won't have to worry about wrecking them if you adjust frequently. Aesthetically, it looks great with the aluminum outlining the perimeter of the keyboard and having minimal branding. The switches feel really good for what they are. We're under no illusion as to which market this keyboard is for. But for the record, the Otemu reds that are in this keyboard are smooth, sound passable out of the box, and most importantly, they're consistent. They deliver a superbly comfortable typing experience for work and for play. And I did play a lot with this. Kudos to the Quality Assurance Department of Deepcool as I think they really made sure that all the keys feel and type the same across the board. If you remember our last keyboard review, one of my criticisms was that the keys on that keyboard are all over the place in terms of actuation and smoothness. So for the not so great things about this keyboard, the cable is not detachable. Why do this, Deep Cool? In fairness, it's braided and it feels reinforced in the places that matter. But, but still, it's 2022. We have no more place for fixed cables, especially with MKBs. Another is the fact that the keycaps are ABS. I've used it quite a lot for, for the past month, but it hasn't shown anywhere in terms of legends getting erased or the keycaps themselves getting glossy. But ABS is still ABS. It will fade over time. Luckily, it's an easy fix as there are a ton of PBT keycaps that you can easily replace this with. And honestly, that's it. Those are very minor gripes and for the market that this keyboard is for, all the good things about it outweigh the bad. It's a solid keyboard that's going to dramatically improve your quality of life, especially for those of us stuck working and playing from home. At around 3,000 pesos, it is a bit pricey but it's also a lot of solid workhorse keyboard you're getting. I wholeheartedly recommend this as a first mechanical keyboard. Now for the KG722, here's Jay. 
Uh, dito naman tayo sa KG722. Ito yung medyo enthusiast level na keyboard. The KG722 is a 65% RGB keyboard. It has a detachable USB-C braided cable, side printed ABS keycaps, uses linear Gateron red switches, and nicely tuned factory loop stops. It has a sturdy build, deck flex is minimal to none, and mabigat siya as expected from an MKB. It has this minimalist look from the top view because the keycaps are side printed and they're ABS so it looks very premium. Syempre, di mo wala yung RGB. Ginamit ko siya for almost a month to do my daily task. Ayaw ko dalawin. Ayaw ko dalawin. Ayaw ko dalawin ng jungle. Jay, Jay! Ano ba yung notos ko sa'yo? And here's what I like about this keyboard. Before I did this review, I preferred heavy switches because of my way of typing. Pero this keyboard changed my mind. Maganda din pala yung light switches for heavy typists. The Gateron Red linear switches feel so great to type on. If you're a light typist, this keyboard is definitely for you. Sobrang gaan niya and the stops are loop and tuned. Parang aftermarket yung feel. It's also compact so I can fit it on my backpack, no problem. And RGBs are controlled through macros or software. I also use it for gaming and the switches are very responsive as there is not much resistance happening unlike from the keys we reviewed here. What I don't like naman with this KBR, it is not hot swappable. Though the switch feels really good, if you're enthusiast, you'll be thinking of changing switches from time to time. You can change the switches naman but you'll have to desolder and solder them. It also doesn't have wireless mode. Many 60% and 65% keyboards now have wireless mode for portability. And I think it would have been nice if it was featured. Though ABS keycap looks really good, I would not suggest it for daily use as they become glossy and leave a slick feel over time. KG722 is priced around 4,000 pesos compared to the other well-known 60% keyboards like, like JMMK Compact or Dropout. This is a lot cheaper while still retaining the premium feel. It lacks some features but given na ganito kababa yung price niya, I think it's worth the price. So there you go, dalawang keyboards na bago and they're from Deepcool. And for some reason, laging ganito yung nagiging reviews namin for Deepcool. We're gonna say na they're premium products pero also they're not premium sa cost. And if Deepcool can do it, bakit pa tayo nagtatsaga sa NZXT, sa Corsair na sobrang mahal? Yun, parang challenge na rin yun dun sa mga ibang <laughs> manufacturers na maybe step up because Deepcool is indeed stepping up. And that's evidence dun sa quality nitong dalawang keyboards na ito. Highly recommend. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puan nato, dejo club. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel. 